Look at that jig. Look at how awesome that presentation looks. That thing is pretty. In a second, I'm gonna tell you what kind of jig this is, when to use it, and where you can get them. Hey guys, I'm Dan Meyer. Welcome back to Dominate Fishing. And today we're gonna to be talking about crappie jigs. We're gonna be talking about size, color, shape, and um, just really the jigs that I like to use for crappie fishing. So we're gonna start out here just talking about some, some uh, crappie jigs that I like to use. And when it comes to crappie jigs, there's pretty much three style jigs that I like to use. And the key with crappie jigs to remember is, you know, you can just keep it simple. You don't need any really special jigs to catch crappies. There is one exception with a pretty special jig that I like to use, and I'm gonna show you that, that jig. It's kind of a, a secret weapon for certain types of crappie fishing. I'm gonna show you that in a second. But just for starting out, the jig that I use 95% of the time is just your standard ball head jig. Looks like this. Just a standard jig. You can buy these things, you know, pretty much everywhere at any bait shop. I was buying, you know, these exact jigs for five for a dollar just the other day at a low. It wasn't even a bait shop. It was a gas station with a little section of it that was a bait shop. And the reason I like to use these jigs is they're cheap. You know, if you when you're fishing crappies, a lot of times you're fishing in snags, you're fishing wood, you're fishing, you know, heavy weeds, and you're fishing, you know, light tackle. You also have predator fish, bass, northerns in the same area, and you lose a lot of jigs. So cheap jigs, they work just fine, and uh, you know they catch a lot of crappies. Now, as far as size of jigs, I like to use either a 32nd or a 16th ounce jig. And the, those are my two go-to sizes. The problem that I face with these jigs, if you go with the 32nd, so the reason I would go with the 32nd is either I'm using a really small bait or I want my jig to fall slowly in the water. With crappies, one of the things, most of the time they don't like really erratic movement. They like to be able to go up to the bait, stare at it, and then decide if they want to smoke it. So you're going to catch more fish a lot of times if you've got a bait that can drop really slowly. So that's when I like to use a, a 1 32nd ounce jig for the slow drop. The one drawback is if you're using a, a 1 32nd ounce jig, you've got a pretty small hook. Now on a tough bite, that helps. But with the small hook, what I find a lot of times, you're gonna miss some, some fish. You're not gonna have as good of a hookup percentage as you would if you had a bigger jig like a 16th ounce jig, um, you know, with the, small, the, the smaller jig. But sometimes you have to use a smaller jig, a tough bite, it falls slow, or if you're using a small bait. But a lot of times you can get away with, when you're fishing a crappie uh, lure, you can use the 16th ounce jig. Now notice the difference. The standard ball head has this little bit of a bait collar. You can also get them with no bait collar. I kind of, I like a bait collar, even though this one doesn't help all that much. If you use one with no bait collar like this, your plastic, it's really hard to get it to stay up. After you know, when it's fresh, it'll stay up, but after you catch a few fish, it's gonna slide down all the time, and that's a real pain in the butt. Now, this will work fine with live bait, Now, but I like a collar for keeping the plastic up, you know, most of the time. Some guys will try to put some glue on this to keep the plastic up. You know, that works, it might help, but for the time it takes, it's, it's not worth it. I like to use a collar, and uh, you know, that helps keep it up. Now here's another bait. This one, this one is a Kalen's jig. This is a 16th ounce, and th this is a bait I really like. It's got a really nice metal uh, collar on there, and that keeps the bait up there really well. The only thing is, so let me let me just show you here. I'm gonna hook. This is actually a Kalen's plastic as well. I'm gonna hook it right there, slide it up on that collar, and that that's gonna sit really nicely. Little bulge in the back, really not going to make a difference. It's going to keep it up there real good. After One thing is, after you catch a couple fish, every time you catch a few fish, the plastic gets a little worn down. 
Now let's say you get a big slab. He bites it short, grabs onto the back of this bait. When you rip that hook set, a lot of times what'll happen is that metal bait cotter will just shred your plastic and wreck it. So that is a drawback to that. But you know, when you're talking these plastics, they're, they're cheap. It, it's, it's really not a big deal. You're gonna save yourself a lot of aggravation having the, the collar on there than if you're fishing one of these baits or these type of jigs with no collar. Got some gnats out here. All right, so these, these are the type of jigs that I use most of the time. My two go-to sizes are 32nd ounce or a 16th ounce. And most, I really like to fish the 16th ounce because it has the bigger hook. Now I'm gonna show you something you can do to get that bigger hook, but a really light jig to give you a nice slow drop in just a second. The other type of uh, jig that I use quite a bit is a hair jig. And I, I threw this in there just because we're talking jigs. This is a 16th ounce hair jig. That's a really good bait. This hair jig, you can do one of two things. You can just fish it the way it is and get bit, or you can use it with live bait. You could put a, a minnow on that. So if you're gonna use live bait, you could just use a regular jig. You could use a hook, or you could use a hair jig. Anyone would work. When the fish are on, just a hair jig will work just fine. So, the, you know, 90% of the plastics I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use just with one of these types of jigs. The, these cheap jigs. The Kalins are a little more expensive, but they're worth it. I really like the collar. Otherwise, after you've used your plastic just a couple times, after like every cast, you gotta slide it back up. Cast out, even if you don't get bit, slide it back up. That's a real pain in the butt. So to have a, a nice metal bait collar on there really helps. Now, as far as colors, the one thing I like to do, like some guys, they like to match. So if they're using a chartreuse bait, they're gonna use a chartreuse head. Or if they're using a red bait, they're gonna use a red head. I don't like to do that. I like to use a different jig color than, uh, than my lure. And the reason for that is if the, the crappies are negative or they're neutral on one color, but they're keying in on another color. You just have more chances of hitting that color that the crappies want to hit. So it, it can help you get more bite. Some days it's really not going to make a difference. Some days it's going to help you get some more bite. So other than just like to you, other than just liking to use different color jigs with different color lures, probably my number one color for a jig is chartreuse. That's my number one used color. I also will use multi-tones so here's an orange chartreuse that kind of hits two colors I will use white quite a bit and uh, pink those are my top colors purple I also use a fair amount too so those chartreuse the multi-tone orange and white red um, and pink and purple those are my top colors chartreuse and purple Chartreuse and pink are my two top colors. Those are my two most mostly used, chartreuse pink, but the other colors I work, or I use quite a bit. Now, if you wanna be able to use a bigger hook, but not have to have a heavy jig, like if I wanted to use a big hook like this, say I'm using a, a, you know, a bigger, like a, like a slab slayer, a big bait, I want a big hook. I could use this eighth ounce jig, but with that eighth ounce jig, my slab slayer, it's gonna to fall too fast, and it's just gonna fall. I mean, imagine you're fishing some weeds or you're fishing some wood and you cast in there and those crappies, they're looking up and they kind of want, they don't want to dart out at something like a bass or a walleye would. They kind of want to see it coming down and move up and hit it. You know, if it's falling at a reasonable place, they might go out and hit it, but they don't want anything real fast. So if I put an eighth ounce jig on that slab slayer, that slab slayer is gonna hit the water and just drop right down to the bottom and the fish I'm gonna miss hits. I want some, but if, if I want a bigger hook and I want something that's gonna fall slow, what you can do is go to a glass jig. And a good place to get glass jigs is at this, this um, you can get them online from Tactical Fishing. Their website's tacticalfishing.net. I'm gonna leave a link to that in the description of this video but they, they make glass jigs. They actually, I believe they hand paint these. Look at how nice this jig looks. Look at how big that hook is. That is a big hook. 
and a big jig head, but this thing is ultra light. It, this is probably a 32nd or 64th ounce, maybe even lighter. This is ultra light. So I can hook, I get a big hook for good hook setting uh, capability. I'm gonna have a high percentage of hookups with this big hook, big jig head, very light. I cast this thing out over the weeds, I'm gonna get a nice slow drop. I'm gonna show you this in the water, how slow this drops in just a second. But that's... All right guys, so I'm gonna show you real quick. Here I've got the glass jig, look at the size of that hook. Man, this is just looking pretty. On that slab slayer, this is an awesome looking combo. I'm gonna show you how slow this sucker uh, drops in the water. I'm just, just letting this thing free fall. I'm gonna make sure I'm in the... I'm just letting that thing free fall. I mean, that is a nice, slow drop. Oh, I got bluegills down. I'm just doing this off the dock and I got bluegills checking it out. Let's come back. Just look at how, I mean, that is a nice drop on that glass jig. For any time you're fishing shallow water, weeds, if you want a nice, slow drop, you're gonna have to go with a 30 second ounce jig. The problem is you got the tiny hook, you're gonna miss a few hook sets. If you go with the 16th, you're gonna get a pretty decent drop in the water. You go with that glass jig, you can make that thing drop really, really slow. Cast out over the weeds, let it drop, just don't jerk the rod up, just raise it back up, slow drop. You're gonna get way more hits using the light glass jig. Plus, you're gonna get glow eyes, Really cool paint job if you go from this ta this tactical fishing guy. I mean, I don't really, that's the only place I know to get the glass jigs, but there are places where these really come in handy. So like I said, most of the time, I'm just using these regular ball head jigs. I do like a bait collar. Some guys think, you know, I'm gonna just show you the difference here. Some guys think the K, you know, just the regular standard jig, this bait collar bulges the bait. You know, there's the metal one. I don't, the bulge in the bait doesn't make a difference. The, the fish are still gonna hit it, so I don't really care. I'll use these plenty. You wanna spend a little more money, a nicer bait collar, like this is just a Kalins for an example. And then we've got the glass jig for certain situations. Shallow water, anytime we want a nice, slow drop. So basically, these are the jigs that I like to use. Um, like I said, 30 second, and 64th are my go-to's. I catch crappies on eighth ounce, but normally it's an accident because I'm walleye fishing. I don't, an eighth ounce isn't a go-to, it just drops too fast, but, but you have a nice big hook and, and you will catch fish. I mean, or if you're fishing deep water, like if you're fishing a late summer bite and you have deep water crappies, you can get away with the eighth ounce and it'll actually help you because it'll get that bait down to the fish faster you don't want to, if you're fishing, like, we'll be fishing later in the summer, we'll fish fit, fish that are suspended in 32 feet of water, they'll be 10 or 20 feet down. I don't want to wait for this 30 second ounce to get down there. That's when I might use an eighth ounce, or a, yeah, a one eighth ounce jig, let that sucker get down there with a bigger minnow on there and popping some slabs. So, but like I said, most of the time, 16, 30 second, Deep water, go for the 64th. If you want a slow fall, check these guys out at Tactical Fishing. They're glass jigs. I think you'll really like them. See you guys in the next video.